Yes, the pole vault will be on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's in the it's in the convention center. We thought that it might be a better it might be a better venue for us to be able to manage it. It allows us to be able to do some things with the uh, opening ceremonies. It allows us to be able to celebrate those vaulters without. Um, it was a little bit of a hassle to trying to organize the uh, is specifics. Is there still uh, no charge for that day, or is there a charge for the tickets? Because it was going to be free. Jack. <laughs> It is, it'll be a ticketed event, so everyone who has tickets for the event will be included with it, and then we have accessible seating uh, for, those who, uh, for those who want to come. We'll have a youth component, we'll have lots of ability, uh, so people will be able to get, it will be ticketed, but it will not be a charge event. Okay. Then how will this help? How will this help propel the momentum of Portland and Eugene and Oregon on the track map? I know a lot of things are coming up after the March event. Well, we think what this does, just another step. You know, somebody mentioned the uh, World Junior Championships. That was step one. I think this is part of an overall vision, and that vision, uh, quite honestly, dates all the way back to uh, when I arrived uh, at Oregon to uh, go back to the tradition that the sport of track and field has always held in this state, and that is this, uh, it's, it's Kyber Field has been the spiritual home of the sport of track and field, at least in this country. Uh, we have other great events that are here, and we thought this would be another step, World Juniors, and then 2016 World Championships indoors. Then there's a report uh, coming out of the BBC about uh, French investigation into corruption in the Eugene 2021 uh, World Outdoor Championships. Uh, what's your reaction to the report, and can you tell us that nothing untoward happened there? I can, I'll answer the question uh, two parts. First, there's absolute, we are proud of the bid that we put forward in 2019. We, uh, we knew after losing, and I'm gonna make one comment about the world uh, 2021, and then that's gonna be it. So in 2015, we, in, the, in November of 2014, we put a bid forward for the World Championships in 2019. After narrowly missing, we lost the bid to uh, Doha, 15 to 12, I believe, and we were encouraged by all parties to come forward again uh, because of the confluence of all of the private and public partners that were in line to join with us for 2019. We felt it was important for us to kind of, and, and an obligation basically for the United States to host this event. So we partnered up with the USA Track and Field. We presented a strategic business plan to the IAAF. Council by a vote of 23 to one to one decided to choose Eugene. And uh, we are very proud we stand by our bid, we stand by the integrity of the bid, and we are 100% confident that there has been nothing outside of what are the norms for the presentation of an IAAF bid. With that said, are you frustrated that this process is continuing? It's kind of, it's like, kind of like a lot of fun. No, I think that the, I think that it's the, um, I think the difficulty with it is that uh, I think there's a whole lot of misinformation and a lot of connections with various things that have taken place uh, that really are outside our control, outside of our influence, outside of anything we have or will do. So I think we're just tagged along with it, but I can say uh, that we are just as excited about 2021 and we're fired up about doing a great job for the United States, for the sport of track and field, for the state of Oregon, for all those who in, who've invested in this. Uh, the sweat and tears that have gone into a United States bid. This is a, just a wonderful opportunity for our entire state and all parts of the state, whether it's youth, whether it's businesses, whether it's the, the legislators, whether it's high school kids, this is just a wonderful opportunity and I am so proud that of our team that has put together this bid. So to answer your question, yeah, you get a little frustrated when you get uh, swept along with controversy. Just, have you had to sit down with anybody? Any, any, this French inquiry, no. this French investigation, no. have they, they no. come over and interviewed you yet? No. Just a quick follow-up, what's the misinformation that's out there? Uh, with regard to? Well, you said you're frustrated. I think one of the things you said were frustrated with all the misinformation. Well, I think that any implication 
the implication that there would be anything wrong with the bid for 2019-2021. We presented the bid in complete, uh, with complete transparency in 2019, and the only thing different about the 19 budget and the 21 budget is we crossed out the number on the top of the budget and went from 19 to 21. Is there any chance the IAAF will reconsider Eugene's bid? I can't speak for the IAAF. I have no idea. Can you speak to it? <laughs> uh, well, look.